Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, let's quickly see about serialization and deserialization in Python. In Python, uh, serialization does nothing else, just converting the given data structure into valid JSON. For example, the Python uh, true will be converted to JSON true, I mean that capital T will be converted into small t, and the dictionary itself will be converted to a string. So this is what happens when you do a serialization. It's going to convert the data into a valid JSON format. And like, for example, if the dictionary is converted to a string, and like if it's like a true, it's converted to a small true. Let's see the how it converts in for each of the user data types. And the why reverse of this one is reserialization. Now let's see how the data going to convert when we used uh, serialization. For example, if it is true, it will change it to small true. If it's false, again change it to small, small false. None will change to null. And if it's int float, it's going to change to a number. And if it's a string with single quotes, double quotes, or triple quotes, it will be converted into a double quotes. And the dictionary will convert into object. And this tuple will convert into an array. This is what happens when you do a serialization. When you do a serialization, we might come up across this error. The, for example, if you have a date field and you, you try to serialize this one, you will get this uh, date time uh, error, date time non serializable error. So we, we can mitigate this error with the help of these two uh, uh, code. The first code, like we want to use a class here. With the help of this class, uh, we're going to convert this uh, date time into a string and then we're going to resolve this issue. Or either you can, what you can do is uh, instead of uh, JSON dumps of only the variable, if you give the, along with the variable if you give us a mention the type of the default equal string so this uh, this will convert it into a string and uh, you will not get this error so in these two ways we can mitigate this uh, json serialization issue error let's uh, quickly run a sample code for this one and see how it how it uh, going to resolve this error let's quickly see an example for serialization and deserialization in the command tool, I have given a sample data. So I have declared a variable called data, and the data has the employee information here. For example, I have given the name here. Name is Peter John. Then the employee gender, male, it's true. Then age, 25, passport, none, degree, BME. So if you see this data, it is it's a mixture of data types. First name is a string, name is a string, then gender is, is a true or false, then the age is an integer, the passport, none, and the degree is a tuple. So if you see, you have a mixture of data types in this uh, data. So let's uh, print this data first. If you see print this data, you'll find this information. Like this is what you could see, like uh, the dictionary. Uh, you'll find this uh, the output. So let's uh, serialize this data and see how it's going to convert this data into uh, when you do a serialization. So for now to do the serialization, we're going to use JSON dot dumps. This is going to do the serialization here. So I want to use JSON dot dumps. Then I pass the data and the index is equal to is just for formatting. I'm, pass, I'm just giving here. I'm going to print this one. If you see here, uh, if you see the output, uh, this string we have given us previously three quotes here, but now we got changed to one single quote, um, one quotes here. I mean, like this quotes, we have three uh, quotes here, but that got changed to one quote here. And if you see the true here, like we have mentioned that mail, the boolean is true here, this capital T here, but when you see the output here, it's changed to small t. And also, if you see uh, this small t here. If you see see the uh, uh, null uh, none here, in the password mentioned as none here, but it changes to null here. Uh, similarly, if you see the tuple here, we have the degree B a tuple B M E, but that now got changed into an array here, B B E M E. So in this way, the data type, data type get changed when you do a serialization. Let's do the reverse of this one. Now we're gonna deserialize this data. Now we'll do the reverse of serialization, like we're gonna deserialize the data. This JSON data. So for, for deserialization, we are going to use JSON dot loads of JSON data. So this is JSON dot serialized data, and now we are going to do the uh, deserialization. For serialization, we are going to use JSON dot dumps. For deserialization, we are going to use JSON dot loads. So I'm going to pass this JSON dot data, which is serialized one. I'm going to deserialize now with this help of this for JSON dot loads. So if you see the output here, now the name. If you see the name, uh, like uh, the name again, we have a uh, previously we have uh, this double quotes like two quotes here like uh, but now it's changed to single quotes here single quote here and again the mail if you see the boolean the true again it's changed back to original true and but and the, this null also changed back to none this none changed back to original none but when you see that uh, this degree right previously it was a tuple that got changed into array but still here it's going to be the array it is not changed to original tuple 
So this is what happens when you do serialization or do serialization deserialization. Uh, this will not get, uh, I mean, serialization deserialization will not give you the same output what you see, uh, what you provide in the input. There could be, you could see some differences when you do a serialization deserialization. Let's see a common error when you use uh, serialization, like for example, the, the, the date time. So when you try to use uh, serialize the date time field, we go, it's going to throw an error saying the JSON serialization error. Let's quickly show that here. So for example, here I'm using a date time, I'm import date time. I'm going to use, I'm going to use this one to uh, get the time. So date time dot date time dot now. This is going to give the current uh, time, date date time. So if I'm going to run this one, so this is the timestamp which is going to give me now. So I'm going to try to uh, serialize this data now. Now I'm going to uh, serialize this uh, timestamp using json dot dumps uh, time now. If you run this one, you will get the error uh, saying saying that object of type date time is not json serializable. When you try to serialize this date time, you'll get this error message saying that uh, the date time is not json serializable. We can resolve this issue in two ways. One is uh, with the help of this sample code here. So I'm going to use a class here, date time encoder, and have a sample code here. And here I'm going to use this uh, time now is a uh, is a field. I'm going to take the uh, current current time. I'm gonna I'm gonna use this uh, class to convert that into uh, a serializable one. So if you run this code, so now you see that now the data is converted into JSON format. The next one next method is, is uh, this is pretty much straightforward. The next method is just you're gonna put JSON dot dumps, then time now, then just pass the default equal to string. So this is gonna uh, resolve this issue. If I run this one, now we'll see the output as 2701017. So this method JSON dot dumps, uh, time now, comma default equal to string. So, so with the help of this also, we can uh, resolve this issue. That's pretty much for this video, and thanks for watching.